This video explains the concept of social corporate responsibility that identifies and analyzes on such points as the importance of corporate social responsibility in marketing subject or as a separate course, how far the developing countries are paying attention to the social aspect while operating their businesses, to what extent the practicing managers are giving the importance to the ethical aspect of their businesses. There is a growing trend among academicians and professionals that have just started taking care of the social corporate responsibility and ethical part of their businesses, since it's about taking care of the society's interests and at the same time optimizing the profit of their organization. Corporate social responsibility is continuing commitment by business to behave ethically and contribute to economic development while improving the life of their workforce as well as their families, uh, local communities and the society at large. The society at large here means people and customers at large. In simple terms, the CSR is about what you do, how you do and when and what you say. Social responsibility and ethics are blended together and applied in various spheres such as HR, finance, computing and many other spheres. For the new generation of corporate leaders, optimization of the profit is key rather than the maximization of the profit. Hence, there is a shift from accountability to stakeholders to social responsibility and customers and other stakeholders. Cutler and Levy in their book Corporate Social Responsibility identified corporate social responsibility as a commitment to improve community well-being through discretionary business practices and contribution of corporate resources. There are several benefits of being socially responsible, which are enhanced company and brand image, easier to attract and retain employees, increased market share, lower operating costs, easier to attract investors. Marketers must be aware of ethical standards and acceptable behavior. This awareness means that marketers must recognize the viewpoint of three key players, which are the company, the industry, and the society. Since these three industries have almost always have different wants and needs, the conflict is likely to arise. The first one, when there is a difference between the needs of three aforementioned groups. And the second one, when one's personal beliefs conflict with the organizations. In either case, a conflict of interest is a possible outcome. An example of a first type of conflict is the tobacco industry. Figures for many years have been a lucrative business. Many thousands of people around the world are employed in tobacco industry, and the world has somehow been dependent on the tobacco industry. However, figures are harmful for our health, and there is docu documented proof that cigarette smoking is harmful for our health. This is an ethical conflict for cigarette marketers. An example of the second type of conflict when one's personal values conflict, conflicts with the organizations occurs when a leader in the company seeks a personal um, profit. Usually it's a financial profit that comes from false advertising. Cures for fatal disease are one type of uh, product that falls into this category of a conflict. In their greed to make a profit, a marketer convinces those who may be dying from an incurable disease to buy a product that may not be cured, but a member of a person who is dying or, or the person on itself may buy this product in an effort to save himself or a part of his family. And promoting and marketing such products violates rules and marketing ethics. Consumerism. Consumerism is concerned with the rights of consumers. The concept of so social responsibility in consumerism go hand in hand. If every organization practices the high level of social responsibility in consumerism, the consumer movement might have never begun. The concept of social responsibility in consumerism is a struggle power between buyers and sellers. Especially, it's a social movement to increase the rights and powers to buyers in relation to sellers. Sellers' rights and powers in the following list. To price a product at any level they wish, provide there is no discrimination among similar classes of buyers. To spend any amount of money with the promotion of the product. 
as long as the promotion is not defined as unfair competition. Formulate any message they wish about the product provided it's misleading or dishonest in content or execution. To introduce any buying, execution the same as they wish. To refuse to buy a product that is offered to them. To accept the product to the sale. To accept the product essentially match how seller is compared to them. Another significant area of social concern is environment. Marketing depends on the use of scarce resources to fulfill human needs without harming or unnecessary things resources. Marketing managers should determine how which products are produced and which products are directly affected to environment. The natural resources and materials used, the amount of energy required in the production process, the residuals, wastewater, the results from production, the generation of pollutants in using products, the amount of packaging materials that may be destructed. Nowadays, most ethics believe that relationship marketing is a reasonable practice leading to positive relationship buyers and sellers. Relationship marketing requires that rules are not necessarily contracted. Relationship marketing allows buyers and sellers to work together. However, there are disadvantages to approach the relationship marketing requires time to develop a list of XP, conduct rules of behaviors. In order to protect the environment and uh, to improve quality of social life and are concerned with the issue uh, that includes uh, conservation of natural resources, uh, reducing environmental uh, how can I say, uh, environmental pollution, uh, protecting endangered species, and control of uh, use, uh, land use usage. Uh, what is the three areas of environmentalism? Uh, let me uh, count all of them one by one. Reduce, recycle, and refuse. In our period, several different kinds of companies pay more attention to produce uh, green products. That's mainly because uh, in a large amount of consumers are really want to pay in a huge amount of money for a green product. Because of these factors, in a large number of uh, companies pay more attention for a green product. Green marketing refers to the development of uh, development and distribution, improvement of ecologically safe products. It refers uh, product and packages need to include or consider uh, at least one of uh, these followings. For example, less toxic, more durable, and uh, of course, uh, made of uh, recycled or more recyclable pro uh, procedures. So social marketing is that cause related marketing targets to enlarge uh, view of the business. It's not only enlarge view of the business, but also it helps us to increase our yearly profit, yearly productivity, and of course, market share. And uh, by this marketing strategy, uh, business owners can improve their uh, business facilities. And uh, the techniques involves associating a business with a cause. Uh, and now let me note here uh, what is um, social marketing. Social marketing, so, uh, on the another hand, is generally as not associated with any company and uh, issue. Uh, social marketing is uh, mainly for uh, dealing with social pressing problems or issues. Uh, social marketing uh, helps to solve serious issues and find a, a possible for, uh, solution for pressing problems. For example, uh, cause-related marketing has to be done correctly or it could be uh, hard to the business, to the business owners. Uh, but uh, social marketing uh, push a little bit business owners to organize charities and to support, uh, how can I say, 
uh, charitable funds. It is explo exploiting a charity. Uh, let me bring a, one uh, example here. A bottle, butter, uh, a bottle, uh, bottle company. Uh, this company is until now uh, providing some Asian and African poor countries uh, with the water. It could be a clear example and uh, for uh, social uh, marketing uh, actions. Uh, social marketing is defined as the use of social marketing uh, techniques and strategies uh, to influence a target audience uh, to voluntarily accept, uh, reject, uh, abandon uh, for the benefit of uh, general public or society. Uh, social uh, marketing strategies are usually done by uh, non-profitable uh, organizations, for example, government, uh, crazy organizations, could be a clear example of my words. Uh, what is the main target of the social uh, marketing is that they are trying to keep away uh, general public uh, from uh, negative or harmful uh, things or products, for example, alcohol, illegal drugs, to tobacco, or, or something like this, or uh, to the direct uh, from uh, towards behavior or products that are helpful for them. For example, having a, a meal with uh, parents or having a picnic with uh, close friends or praying together. It's a clear example of my words. For marketing schools have identified guidelines for added to market. According to the American Marketing Association, the norms are established the standards of conduct which are maintained and expected by the people and the professional organizations. So, what is act as a criteria for evaluating the actions of others? So, marketers must recognize that they are not only serving their enterprises but also act as a steward of society. In marketing, marketers should get the highest norms of ethics of uh, practicing professionals and ethical values implied by their responsibility to their stakeholders, customers, employees. Uh, channel members and also host community. Let's talk about the guideline list which American Marketing Association found. So on top of our list is responsibility of marketers. This means marketers must accept responsibility for the consequence of their activities and make every effort to make sure that their decisions, recommendations and actions function to identify and satisfy all relevant public such as organization, society and customers. The next one is honesty, integrity and quality. This is also far more important than quick profit. So marketers should avoid to lie to customers. They, uh, instead, they should tell the truth about the product quality, price, etc. So coming to the next one, which are rights and duties in the marketing exchange process. So participants should be able to accept that products and services are safe and fit for intended uses that communications about offered prices and services are not deceptive. In the middle of our list is organizational relationships. So marketers should be aware of the, how their behavior influences to the behavior of others in organizations. <clears throat> they should not demand, encourage or apply coercion to encourage unethical behavior in their relationships uh, with the others. As for marketers should not harm, this means doing work for which they are appropriated training and experiences so that they can actively add value to their organizations and customers. It also means that marketers should follow all applicable laws, regulations and high ethical standards in the, in the choice that they make. Coming to the next one, which they relate to the trust, so marketers must create a good trust in the marketing system. This means that products are appropriate for their intended and promote uses. In this part, I'm going to speak about education ethics. So ethics value became an important concern in the US in 1980s. In the US, there, there are about 500 courses offered in the field of ethics by various universities. For example, 
Harvard Business School, spent about 30 million US dollars in 1987 to focus on teaching business ethics to MBA. The aim of teaching ethics in marketing particularly is to provide the marketing managers to share knowledge, build skills and develop minds of the young managers of tomorrow. Moreover, it provides and clarifies insights into concepts of businesses so that young man uh, managers avoid business misconduct when they only go and conduct the business. Last but not least, the aim of teaching ethics in marketing is to create high level of integrated moral and social awareness so that they can do and decide when they face with business dilemma. So now uh, let's talk about the role of social responsibility in uh, different countries. First of all, uh, in a global CSR study, there are taken seven countries as Singapore, Malaysia, the Philippines, Indonesia, and India, as well as Korea. Uh, the, which countries like based in the UK based uh, center for CSR in 2003. Uh, India has been ranked second in the list, and this is ideally shows that uh, the value that's important to customers in India. Canada Bank in North Gujarat, Cambodia and Vipro are involved in the community development for work of building roads, running schools and hospitals. BHEO uh, is actively involved in the welfare of uh, their surrounding communities is helping uh, organization to earn goodwill of the local people. BHL is also uh, provided the facilities like uh, educational facilities and health facilities and so on. In 1999, Kofi Allen of the United States invited the corporate leaders of Global Compact uh, promote, to promote the nine principles in the three areas, which are human rights, uh, labor rights and sustainable development. Today, India can be legitimately proud to have a, like, had the second largest uh, number of the companies uh, from any country subscribing to the to a global compact. So now uh, the social responsibility of business in the multinational companies in other countries. In the last 20 years, multinational companies have played a key role in defining markets in and also influencing the behavior of a large uh, number of consumers. Coca-Cola is one of the largest and most global companies in the world. Coca-Cola took seriously its abilities in order to have to have a responsibility uh, to positively affect the communities uh, in which it operated. The Coca-Cola company exists to benefit uh, and refresh everyone who is touched uh, by our business. Uh, the company has made efforts towards good citizenship in the, in the areas of community and also by improving the quality of life in the communities in which uh, they operate and, and the environment uh, by addressing water, climate change and waste management initiatives. Uh, their activities also included the Coca-Cola Africa Foundation and created to combat the goodwill uh, in order to spread of HIF and AIDS through partnership with governments, UNAIDS and NGOs and the Coca-Cola Foundation focused on a higher education at the vehicle to build strong communities and enhance uh, individual opportunity.